I'm Dee Gatton. Breaking news as we come on the air tonight. A body has been recovered at the site of the Baltimore Bridge collapse. Ryan Smith is standing by at the live desk with what we know right now. Ryan. And Dee tonight officials confirming around 730 dive teams have now recovered the body of a third victim from this bridge collapse. Crew, crews locating and pulling the body out of this man you see right here, 38-year-old Maynor Suezo Sandoval. Dive teams have now recovered three bodies of the six construction workers who were killed. Today, President Joe Biden visiting the site of the collapse and speaking with families of those victims. Also, never forget the contribution these men made to this city. We're going to keep working hard to recover each of them. We've since learned Suezo Sandoval was a father of two who migrated to the U.S. from Honduras more than 17 years ago. Friends say he dreamed of starting a small business in Maryland. All new tonight, Baltimore's big league teams are now pitching in. The Orioles and Ravens just announcing today a $10 million donation to the Maryland Tough Baltimore Strong Fund, which supports victims' families, first responders, and those port workers. The bridge collapse was top of mind at a joint hearing in the Port of Miami where officials are discussing the safety and security of the nation's ports. It's the first official gathering of federal lawmakers since last week's disaster. Lawmakers say the accident goes to show just how important the nation's ports are for the economy. Baltimore's port ranks first in the nation for vehicles, containers and commodities. The collapse of the key bridge exposed vulnerabilities and created an economic catastrophe for the country. When a major port shutters, shock waves are felt nationwide. While we're not aware of any malicious uh, responsibilities for the incident, the severity of the collapse of the bridge underscores the importance uh, of what we're discussing today. Lawmakers heard from port leaders and maritime experts about how to shore up infrastructure, make supply chains more resilient, and protect ports from cyber attacks. There could be funding challenges when it comes to rebuilding the key bridge. Today, the House Freedom Caucus outlined their demands if federal funds are used. The ultra-conservative group wants any funding to be offset by cuts elsewhere and called on the Biden administration to lift its paws on natural gas projects. The administration hasn't said how much rebuilding will cost, but some estimates put the number at $2 billion. Our coverage of the Baltimore Bridge collapse continues on air and online at thenationaldesk.com.